Hey, hi guys, what's up? It's me, Ron. How's it going? Welcome to Brovember, day eight. Yes, day eight of a month of fitness and uh, healthy eating. Wow. Shay is gone out of town right now with his brothers, so he's left me to my own devices. <laughs> I'm taking over. <laughs> Shay lost his mine. Oh, mine. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm just gonna show you guys how to make a little something. It's crazy because after Halloween, I swear everything just turned to Christmas. There's like Santas everywhere you look and wreaths everywhere and those ornaments on everything and fa la 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 on the high fidelity system in every store that you go to. <sighs> they really just shove it down your throat. <laughs> I need to get into it, I really do. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some holiday eggnog in a healthy way. And in the process, you're gonna learn how to make your own almond milk or nut milk. But Ron, why would you wanna just use that instead of regular cow's milk? Very good question, and I know this is gonna be slightly controversial, but there are some actual facts that are attached to milk that we can talk about because they're actual facts. They can't really be disputed. And here in the United States, our milk is very, very highly processed before it gets to your plate? No, before it gets to your jug. It's very highly processed, highly pasteurized, which destroys a lot of the enzymes, which makes it very, very difficult to digest. I've seen statistics that are that's over 50% of people are intolerant or have an allergy to milk products. I happen to be one of those people, even though things like cheese, that's like my kryptonite. Oh my goodness, I love me some cheese, but it really gives me the squirts. There's also a lot of hormones. There's also pus in there, which just oh, grosses me out, the whole idea of it. The great thing about nut and seed milk, almond milk especially, there's a, a slew of uh, great vitamins and minerals, zinc, magnesium, and a great amount of protein. It's low in fat and it tastes delicious. Without further ado, Ron, why don't you stop flapping your jaw and just get into it and make something for us. It's easy and it's fun and it's gonna be very delicious. Let's do it, what do you say? First elements of almond milk is almonds. Make sure you buy raw almonds, not roasted, salted, nutted, any of those. Preferably organic, but you know, <laughs> I'm cheap. Take those almonds and put them in water overnight and you will have something that looks like this slushy mushy. So you can see these have been soaking for about three hours. A lot of times you can just put them in overnight and they'll be ready for you in the morning. Vanilla bean, I got this also at Trader Joe's. You can just use the regular vanilla extract but I bought this because I'm fancy. Then we have ground cinnamon. You can use nutmeg, but I found this pumpkin pie spice, which will do the job. Cheesecloth or a nut bag or a nut sack. A blender, of course, and something to put it in, and bananas. Okay, so I've drained the water and rinsed out the almonds, and we're gonna put them in here. This is about three cups of almonds. What you're gonna wanna do is do two to one ratio. So I got three cups of almonds, I'm gonna put in six cups of water. See that? Ba 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 boom. Blend it. There we go, looks like that. So obviously, if you want a more creamy almond milk, you're gonna use less water, okay? okay? So the next step is to strain the almonds out of the water, which is what we're gonna use this cheesecloth for. If you have a strainer like this, double up the cheesecloth in there, and you can put it right over your pitcher, like that. So we take the nut milk and just dump it in. Just go slow, go slow so it filters out. See, make it rain in there, make it rain. It's just like milk it, milk it, milk it. This is really how you milk it, milk it. Milk that almond. And so what we have here is essentially just pure almond milk. And it's pure, no sugar, nothing like that. And there, it has a creamy, almondy flavor. Of course, because it's almond milk. From that, you can do a whole bunch of different things. I'm gonna show you guys now how to make the eggnog. What? Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the almond milk that we've just made, the filtered almond milk, put it back into the blender. 
back to where you came from. And now we're just gonna add the spices and stuff. For about six uh, cups, I'm gonna, probably gonna use two bananas to add that creaminess and uh, that sweetness for the eggnog. Two vanilla beans that I'm gonna add in because I'm fancy. Otherwise, you can just pour in vanilla extract. So you wanna just slice it down the middle like this. This comes from like a really cool flower, which is awesome. And then you just open it up and inside, this is the vanilla. It's basically the seeds. And what you do is you just, you kind of just scrape it off like this. Make sure you get all of it, it's very precious. And as you can see, this, all this, this is the vanilla, this is the flavor. The vanilla that I just made, ooh, look at that go in. Mm -hmm. Why do people in cooking shows always get that? Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, everything's so, ooh. I'm opening the bag, ooh, ooh. So these are bananas that I had frozen. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put one and a half. And then we got ground cinnamon, pop, oh. Cinnamon challenge. No, I am not gonna do a cinnamon challenge right now, no. Some ground cinnamon. Pop, 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 pop. Pumpkin pie spice. This is basically just all the stuff that's in eggnog already, which is cinnamon, uh, ginger, lemon peel, nutmeg, cloves, and cardamom. Cardamom. Hmm, just see, it just automatically smells like uh, eggnog. Or maybe two teaspoons. Remember, you can always just add more later. For added sweetness, I'm not gonna do this because I'm really trying to lose weight. But you can add something like organic honey, agave nectar, maple syrup, stevia if you're into that sort of thing. I think the bananas are sweet enough for me as is. This will really take it up there if you're not concerned too much about your sugar intake. And there you have it. Nog, mm. delicious nog. This is a dairy-free, egg-free alternative to a holiday classic eggnog. Pouring it out, it's very, very creamy. Listen to that sound. And I use this in a jar, recycled jar. Come on, people, let's be nice to Mother Earth and reuse our jars, huh? Time for the taste test. Oh my gosh. Mmm, that is mighty fine. Definitely think it would taste more like eggnog with the sugar because eggnog gives you that kick of sugar. Um, but this is really delicious and a healthy alternative. This is full of vitamins, minerals, protein, potassium, all of those things. Some variations, you could put coconut milk in this. You could, you could do anything. Uh, you could use this as a base for smoothies as well and you make it yourself and it doesn't take that long at all. So try it out, try out the recipe and I'm not trying to tell anybody how to eat or what to eat really. This is just something that's working for me, healthy milk alternative and uh, hopefully it works for someone else out there who maybe is allergic to milk or wants to switch away from uh, dairy. Hmm? Guys, follow us on Facebook. We have recipes, little memes and comments that we put up on there. And you can see everyone on Team Shea Loss also posting on that page. Eventually we're going to get a website, but that is going to take some time. We also just got a re uh, an Instagram, Team Shea Loss Official, since someone already took Team Shea Loss and Shea Loss. <sighs> and you can also follow us on uh, Twitter, Team Shea Loss. I can't wait for Shay to get back so we can exercise some more. The last day of the diet bet is tomorrow and we're gonna weigh ourselves. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for all your support. Oh, hopefully this melts my gut right off. <laughs> <laughs>